something goes right, yeah, something goes right. All right, day 10. Last day of Andre and Ben's stay here. Um, today was basically a bit of a wrap up. We just pretty much cleaned up a few things with the car, um, ran it a few times, made sure the alternator was all good. Um, I cleaned up a bit of wiring and made sure it was routed in the right direction. Um, we took a bit of a drive after that. I showed these boys some native Australian kangaroos. Um, yeah, we took a bit of a tour of Geelong, my hometown, and yeah, spent some time driving around and reflecting on the last 10 days. It's been just a, a crazy, crazy time, and yeah, I'm really glad these guys came out and helped me out with the wiring, and I've been absolutely blown away with how professional they have been, um, how much alcohol they can drink, and how much work they actually get done on a hangover. So that's pretty surprising. That's not bad for you NZ blokes. Um, yeah, absolutely stoked to have, you know, started this 10 day journey with a car that was basically just metal and parts. And these guys have turned it into something that's drivable, uh, produces power and will be reliable and easy to work on for the future. So, you know, what they've done is given me something that I'll keep for life. I'm stoked that it's got the best wiring in possibly the world and has the best tune and is going to keep me happy for a long, long time. Day 10 and we're done. I'm really happy with how the last 10 days have gone. It's been a lot of work, but it's also been a lot of fun and that's what we're all about. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it's been work, even though I've complained about the cold, I've complained about the late nights, but in all, it actually really has been a really enjoyable time. And we've got some great results for Nigel, which is what counts, that's why we came over here. He's got a really professional mil-spec uh, wiring loom for his car now, we've got a tune on it, it's making the right power, it's making the right amount of torque, and that should be really reliable, it's exactly what Nigel wanted to go to the track. So now we're out of here, tomorrow we fly back to New Zealand and we leave Nigel to complete the ute. So he's got a little bit ahead of him, he's got to get the bodywork on it and then he's got to head to the track. So we really wish him all the best and um, can't wait to see this thing shredding some tyres, top gear skids, it'll be great. Look forward to the next project, there'll be something, something else coming along in the, in the wings no doubt and um, stay tuned, we will be back. Thanks for watching. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.